It's important to be heard. In life, you gotta look at balance. If you don't have women, then you don't have that balance and it becomes one-sided and you only hear one side and you don't get laws that are equal. And it's all about equality. La politique euh, est vraiment présente dans, dans toute ma vie et elle affecte ma vie en tant que travailleuse. Quand toutes les lois, les règlements, euh, les lois qu'on va mettre dans nos conventions collectives vont affecter toutes les travailleuses autour de nous et, et moi, et moi par, par le fait même. Politics will affect me and the decisions that are made and just my rights, being able to be who I am as a Muslim, as a person of, of color. We make up 50-51% of the population, so it's very important that our perspective on everything that goes on around us is heard. So if we're not in the political arena, our voices aren't heard. We have to hear everybody's voices, uh, women's, men's, uh, workers of color, workers with disabilities, LGBTQ members, it has to be everybody's voice needs to be heard. So when I tell you your solidarity is legendary, believe me, it is and we need every bit of it. Solidarity. I'm Christine Cascano. I work at Earth Law Federal Plus down here in Ottawa and I'm with you for local 414 office. It's important for unions to be involved in politics because we are inherently political organizations. The work that we do to improve the lives of our members, uh, those decisions are made by federal politicians, by provincial politicians, and we need to uh, flex our muscle as a group of working people to try to pressure those decision makers to introduce policies and implement policies that improve the lives of working people in Canada, particularly working women. The reason I'm involved and active in my union kind of started with the Idle No More movement. I realized that the union was involved and was interested in the same things that I was interested in. I want to make a change and I also care a lot about uh, people and people that are in need or people that don't have that voice so that's absolutely why I did what I did in my workplace and why I want to continue to do that work. Being around other activists and women that are doing that work, it's, it's inspiring and it just only pushes me to want to do more. Uh, other women that have come before me have made space for young women, for young voices to get more involved, to become more engaged. Engaged, um, and have given us opportunities to take on leadership positions. Moi, je m'appelle Roxane, et puis euh, à, chez Unifor, c'est moi qui fais la liaison avec euh, tous nos jeunes travailleurs. Euh, alors, dans chacun des, euh, euh, des conseils régionaux, on a euh, un groupe de, euh, de jeunes travailleurs qui sont élus euh, pour siéger comme le, le, à, à titre de comité pour euh, les trois ans. Je me suis impliquée dans mon syndicat, en fait. J'étais jeune, plus jeune qu'aujourd'hui à l'époque, et puis euh, je trouvais que la voix des jeunes n'était pas assez entendue, que ce soit dans mon milieu de travail et aussi dans mon syndicat. I am a young worker. I am um, a woman. I am a person from Aboriginal descent. And I feel that I am a voice in my community and in my union because I have, I guess I just have the ability to, to speak up. One advice I would give to young women to get more involved is just to keep pushing. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And I remember doing the same when I was young as well. You want to change the world yesterday. Just persevere, persevere, we can do it. And it's the young women that I talk to and it's the energy that I feel when I come to these functions that makes me proud to be a woman and I'm always inspired by any woman when they speak up. You just have to keep fighting. You have to have to remember why you're doing this and think about your community and why you want to help them. We are going to change the world to a better place.